Our top story tonight, an enormous marijuana bust this morning in Mobile. Authorities pulled over a California man on I-10. He was hauling $1.3 million worth of pot, and deputies found it all hidden in a pretty clever way. News 5's J.B. Buno joins us live at the Web Center. And J.B., all this weed found in a U-Haul trailer. Yeah, that's right, Devin. And as we showed you today on the WKRG Facebook fan page, all of this weed was smuggled inside two hollowed-out big-screen TVs that you see here behind me, all of it heading towards Florida. But... Now the drugs and the driver are locked up in Mobile. 146 pounds. 133 bags worth a street value of $1.3 million. A monster haul for the Mobile County Sheriff's Office. This is pretty significant due to the, uh, the amount of marijuana. The bust was made Tuesday morning when this U-Haul was pulled over on I-10. Deputies got suspicious and with some canine help, found these two hollowed out TVs in the U-Haul, overflowing with bags of marijuana, all very organized with labels using the Best Buy logo and names like Master OG Kush. It's very organized and uh, these guys are organized. It's just, he wasn't too organized today. The driver arrested is Christopher Bass of California. Anything you want to say to your family, Chris, that they're watching this? He wouldn't say much, but we found out he's an independent filmmaker, the co-founder of the Chicago-based Blue Jacket Films. And all the blue dream, green crack, and purple mango no longer his. All this marijuana here, it's being packed up all $1.3 million worth of it, and it's going straight into evidence. I-10 is known as being a widely used channel for drug dealers. We did a great job by stopping this today. But on this day, it was a big bust for the Mobile County Sheriff's Office. Now, also inside the U-Haul trailer was an old beat-up couch here and the box spring for a mattress. We were there when deputies threw out. Uh, they actually cut it open and they looked for drugs, but none, uh, no drugs were found. Pete Devon, we were live on the WKRG Facebook fan page with this story today. A lot of folks, they weren't thrilled about this bust. They want pot to be legalized as it is in rec for recreational use in some other states, but it's still illegal here in Alabama. Yeah. There it is. And JB, he, he had freeze dried those bags. It was like a, a business operation. It was extraordinarily organized. That was something that took deputies and us also by surprise. All right, thanks a lot, JB.